high crocheters of the world. In this tutorial, again, we will knit a little bit. So, I thought it would be nice to show you a stitch that I really, really love, which is this one. I have a swatch here. I will show you how to work it. It's really easy. You will need a number, even number of stitches or multiple of two if you want to. And it could be... Um, uh, it uh, can... Uh, uh, be worked uh, like uh, cardigans, blouses. From my point of view here on this watch I work it with a acrylic yarn, medium worsted and it looks a little bit um, thick but uh, with a thin yarn, a fingering yarn for example it can uh, be a very very nice cardigan from my point of view or like this thick like this it can be a nice um, cardigan or a, um, sweater or pool for um, a baby boy or girl now i will make something with it i really like it look at it isn't it beautiful so it's the zigzag or, or rick rack stitch now let us begin let us see how to work it so I have here my stitches, I have 16 stitches, as I said, an even number of stitches we need. And now I am ready to begin my um, stitch to work, my pattern stitch to work. Now let us see. Um, on the front side we will begin and we will end with one uh, purl stitch. And on the wrong side we will begin and finish with a knit stitch. So on the right side we will begin with a purl stitch and then we will knit all the stitches until the last that will be purled too. So as I said let us purl the very first stuff. Uh, I already have the playlist with the knitting for crocheters and you have the um, I from the info box uh, into the right side corner so just watch how to purl how to knit you have all there okay now this is the first stitch and now we will actually begin our stitch so to work it we will skip the first and work the second and then the first we will work it on two uh, two stitches and then we will repeat the, sa the same thing. So we'll skip the first and we work the second and we will knit th these from the back. So just move your needle, right needle to the back side, insert the hook into the second from the right to the left, exactly as I do. Okay now, yarn over the needle and pull through the stitch. Now you have the stitch here, but you let it here and of course you cannot let go this one because we have the one that we skipped to work and the one that we skipped we just work it normally as a neat stitch. And now we will let go the both of them and this is the sequence to repeat for this row. So one, two, we will work the second from the back. So insert the right needle from the right to left into the second from the back, yarn over and pull through. And now we have our stitch here. And work the skipped one now as a normal knit stitch. And just go on and let both of them. Again, one, two, the second from the back. Like this, insert the hook from right to left and pull through and knit the first, the one that you skipped and let them go, both. Now again, the second and now the first and let, let them go too and again I just want to show you one and knit the second, knit the first, sorry. Now skip one, insert the hook into the second, from the back side, right to left, like this. Work it, and now work the first, and let them go both. And now the last two, it's one, 
So one, the second from the back and the first from the right. And now the last one, as I said before, we began with a pearl, so we will finish with a pearl too. Okay, this is what we have. You cannot see now after the first row it's red, you cannot see the stitch. The second row to repeat, it's the pearl row. And for the pearl row, we will work all the pattern on pearl stitch, but we will begin and we will end with this knit stitch. So let us knit the first and we will also knit the last. And now, same thing, we will work in two stitches. So the second and then the first. Keep the first and purl the second, like this. Now purl the first two and let them go, both of them. Again, skip the first, purl the second, purl the first and let them go, both of them. Again, purl the first, the second, sorry, purl the first and let them go, both of them, again, one and two, so actually it's two and one, okay, now these are the two stitches, skip the first, purl the second, purl the first and let them go, both of them. Try to work large, uh, to work it loose, sorry. If you know you, you work tight, just try to work with a larger needle size. And now we work all what we have here for the pattern stitch on purl, and now we want to knit the last as we knitted the first. And these two rows are to repeat for the length that we need for our project. Let me show you one more time. So, we are on the front side, we will begin with a purl stitch and we will finish with a purl stitch. Now, when you begin with the purl stitch, you have something like this. It seems to be, it seems to be two stitches here, but they are not. It is one stitch, this one. And it's like this that we have to insert the, the needle, right needle, okay? It's very important because we can make a increase here and we don't want to. Okay, so this is the purl stitch and now we begin to work two, two, two. So from the back we will need the second and from the front, so normally we will need the first. Let them go both. Now from the back we need the second and now from the front, so normally we need the first that we let them go. Now again from the back, like this, and now we come back and we need the one that we skipped. And again the second from the back and the one that we skipped. The second from the back and now the one that we skipped, so it's so easy and nice. As I said, something we will work with this stitch because I truly love it. Okay, and now we have the last one. We purled the first, so we will purl the last. Okay, now let me show you one more time. We already see can see the pattern design, really beautiful. I can actually work a nice headband, just work something with it, it's so nice. Okay, we are again on the wrong side, this is the wrong side. We are again on the wrong side and we begin, because we are on the wrong side, we will knit the first and the last. So let us begin by knitting the first. Here it is. And now we will purl two, two, two. Okay. Skip the first, purl the second, insert the hook into the first and, and purl the first two and let them go, both of them. 
So it's second and pearl the first and let them go. Pearl the second, skip the first, pearl the first and let them go. So nice. It's so relaxing. Knitting is really relaxing. When we crochet we have to count, we have to be attentive to so many things. When we knit, so at least for me, when I knit, I just relax. It's just, of course, crocheting is relaxing too. But uh, knitting is, from my point of view, as a crocheter, knitting is easier. Now, uh, we are on the wrong side. We began with a knit, so we will finish with a knit stitch. And this is what we have. Now I just want to show you how to bind off, if you want to bind off actually with the petal, in pattern. Look at it. So, so sweet. Okay, now let's see, or a scarf, maybe a nice scarf. But from my point of view, a neck warmer with a hat would be a nice project. Now, this is what we have here with a barret actually. <laughs> Sorry, I am just... Okay, now I said I want to show you how to bind off. Here I, I did it. Uh, bind off exactly in pattern. We are on the front side and we just want to bind off in pattern. So, we will purl the first because we are on the front side. So, purl and now let's see how to do it. So, in pattern, which means which means we skip one, insert the hook from the back into the second and knit the second. But now we have to pass the first through the second, just to bind the stitch off. We did it. And now we have to turn to our pattern and to knit the first. Okay, I need it and now I can let go both of them and I will just pass the first through the second to bind. And again we will repeat this step. So knit the second from the back and pass the first through the second to bind it off. Now knit the first normally, let go both of them and pass the first through the second to bind off. Again, knit the second from the back. And pass the first through the second to bind off. Now come back to the pattern and knit the first. Let them go, both of them, and pass the first through the second. And here it is. Now it's really, really nice. If you want a nice and artistic, actually, bind off. Okay, if we work, I haven't tried yet, but I'm sure that if we work it in rounds, on circular needles, we have to work only the front of pattern. So we won't work the pearl part only the knit part, so only this actually. Okay, so this is how we want to bind off. If you want to remain in pattern, you can bind off normally, working a normal uh, knit stitch. You don't have to bind off like this, I just wanted to show you. Now I have my last two knit from the back, the second, Pass the first through the second and now knit the first. Oops, just have to knit it first. Okay, let them go. Pass the first through the second and this one is to be purled. So purl and pass the second to last, the last. Okay, and this is actually what we have here and let's watch here. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope you enjoy this uh, new little project, new little stitch actually that 
uh, we know now from uh, knitting, uh, knitting for crocheters, and ho hope you will enjoy the next project that I have for you. See you at the next tutorial, crochet or knitting.